This is the fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. This is pretty much where I live. Please, no shoes inside. For over the last five years, I've been working in Resolve and specifically in the fusion page, making presets and templates and plugins for Resolve. Now, today, I wanna show you uh, one button that I just found after all that time uh, that lots of people might not think is cool, but I think is pretty cool, and there's no other reason I'm gonna talk about it. So, you're watching a video about one button. Neat. <laughs> If I zoom in here, you'll see I have Proto V3. This is my new preset for these high energy, uh, like glow effects, super awesome. More info in the description about all of that. Um, but we're just demonstrating something here uh, because Proto, uh, like all of my presets, I keep as a group. Um, so if I double click this, you'll see all the nodes uh, this is how I built Proto. I built it natively in Fusion, and you can go node by node and see how I did it. But as you can see, this is a lot, and it also takes up a lot of space in my work, in my general like nodes work area. Especially if I had other nodes going on and Proto was just a part of that. Now, I'm gonna do something pretty interesting. In this giant area, I'm actually gonna shrink down the bounds of this group so that it's quite a bit smaller. And you'll see this is something I can do because this is a group of nodes. When I shrink that, these nodes kind of like disappear inside the group. And when I move around, it's like the rest of the nodes are gone, right? And if I want to get them back, I kind of need to expand this group all the way out again, right? No, uh, because the other day I was messing around with some group stuff and zoomed in and you do have this X, which will close that group. But then I realized that in the opposite corner, there's this other button here that I had never pressed. And hey yo, uh, spoiler alert, when you press that, nothing changes, but now, ooh, first, let me uncheck this. Um, uh, default behavior in these node viewer is that I, if I hold middle mouse button and left mouse button, it like zooms in behavior like this. That's pretty interesting. But if I click this button and then uh, click outside the group and do that same thing, it's normal. If I click inside the group, I can zoom and even position separately inside this group. So now I can like scale this down, show the entire thing, but it's not taking up the entire thing space in my greater node graph. And if I want a specific area, I can just zoom in right into that. This is something that like occasionally when I would like load a preset I was working on, like the zoom layer would be kind of weird, but most of the time it like snapped and fixed itself. I never realized that it was probably part of the workflow about this little button that kind of gives you this separate workspace inside your groups. It's like a virtual little nodes work area. And if you uncheck that, it goes back. Uh, so this does kind of like lock it if you change anything. So it doesn't like snap back. Um, but if you toggle it on, you can sort of retain all those files and still like open or close this however you want. But then if you want the entire thing separately, I just thought that was pretty nifty. And for people who spend a lot of time in Fusion, maybe this has also slid under your radar. Uh, for people who don't spend a lot of time in Fusion, uh, go check out Proto, because you don't need to mess much with Fusion for that. You can do that all on the edit page. Um, but hey, a new button. Not new, just new to me after a really long time. I thought this was cool. <laughs> Hopefully you do too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.